Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Joy Energy Tarot. I'm Jenny. Thanks so much for watching and I hope this resonates with you. This is just an intuitive guided midweek pick-me-up reading for the rest of the week from um, April the 28th, I think, around about that anyway. So let's get on with it. I've got some guided messages here for some of you. Now if this resonates with you, feel free to push like and subscribe and the notification bell. And if it doesn't, that's fine. Go and watch another lovely reader. Right, what have we got to guide us for the rest of the week? Thank you, Spirit. We'll do one more. What sort of guiding messages have we got? Right, what are people going through and what do they need to know? Okay, so for some of you, you've got some sort of offer coming in. There's like an offer or um, some advice or a gift from the universe. Um, it might be just an invite that you are there using your imagination or your intuition to work out, is this really what I want? You have to work that out. But covering it is the full card. So the full card is like a new opportunity that's coming in. Jump in, go for it. Okay, that's for some of you. It mightn't be for all of you. Right, what else do we need to know? Thank you, Spirit. Yes, some of you are waiting for news too. You've been waiting for legal papers or contracts to sign. Those are coming in now as well. And for those of you who are, it's not a legal paper, this is about getting the balance back in your life. Justice is being served in your life in some way. You'll get the peace and harmony back and um, you're feeling a lot more balanced. Can we have a clarifier for that please? A clarifier for the lovely justice card. Okay, yes, so some of you are waiting for money, so that's what it can be to do with. It can be pay that's owed to you, it could be a small inheritance, but there's some sort of money that's been coming to you and you've been waiting for it. I feel that it is coming, okay? So for others, what else have we got to, for, to look forward to for the rest of the week, please? Okay, some of you are needing a rest and a healing. This is a card of taking some time out to get peace of mind, which will make you feel a lot better. You're needing that rest. You're actually needing time out. This is a card to be by yourself. Go and sit somewhere quietly and rest. And if you're asking questions or your mind is overworking, this is a card about reminding you to meditate or sit in the bush or in a garden or at the beach, but get some time to yourself. Make some time to yourself because some of you are really overthinking, like worrying about things, overthinking about problems. And if that's the case, write down the pros and cons of these problems to get them out of your mind. But don't worry, it's coming to an end. This is a 10. And actually, this is all brought on by yourself and your own little spirit there, when you're ready, will pull yourself out of that, of the overthinking, because it's in your mind. So you can um, change the way you think, but don't worry, like I said, it's a 10, 10s are endings and new beginnings. So, right, what else do we need to know, please, for the rest of the week? Let's get on for um, a card for the weekend, please. What have we got for the weekend? Can we have advice for the weekend, please? Well, that's interesting. These are upside down. I don't usually do upside down ones. But it's like, okay, some of you have got choices to make and you're going to stand there strongly you've got your guard up you're being guided from above and I feel like it's a relative that's guiding you you're standing there strongly making this choice and then that choice is going to give you peace of mind and it's going to lead you out of the dark into the light you will be able to see a lot better about where you want to be okay well let's now just get on to the guiding um, oracle messages and what have we got for us here? Right, so first of all, this is a cat card. So this is quite a long one, so I'll read that out first. It's called Sleeping. This is advice for some of you. Let it go. Actually, it's for all of you. Let it go. Relax and release. Rest is well earned. You've worked well and now you can surrender to bliss. Know that when you wake, a new possibility will appear. Rest is, oh, sorry, I've got to find the right page here. There we go. Rest is as important as action. Restore and renew the body. The mind and body requires rejuvenation. Allow slumber to course through your body. Healing as every minute unfolds. 
allow fear, insecurity and troubling thoughts to leave your body which grows heavy and re with relaxation. Dreams bring inspiration. Purr deeply and know that you are not missing out as you regenerate your mind, body and spirit in the sleep sweet nectar. Feel and know that you are supported and secure. Nothing can harm you. The cat is master of the art of letting go. Deep slumber is required for those who embody truth within the physical self. A cat is always true to its posture, muscle memory and reactive senses. This is why feline sleep is deeply committed and heavy. Feel your physical self and connect to your own flesh, blood and bones until your body is as heavy as a sleeping cat. Deep sleep is as important as activity. Commit to each when the time is right. Keep your eye on your goal, yet allow it time to develop while you turn your attention to restorative things. Breathe deeply. Okay, that's your guiding message for the rest of the week. And then the guiding message from Louise Hay is, excuse me. The guiding message from Louise Hay is, this world is our heaven on earth. Okay, this world is our heaven on earth. In the new millennium of the Aquarian Age, we are learning to go within to find our saviour. We are the power we're looking for. Each one of us is totally linked with the universe and with life. Okay, and the last guiding message is communication. Communication is the key. Issues can be resolved by clear communication from both sides. Speak your truth, but also be willing to listen and compromise. So that's messages for some of you as well. Now let's have just general guiding messages from the lovely Frida-inspired art cards. Okay, what do we need to know? What can we say to help people, please, for the rest of the week? Guiding message quickly for the rest of the week. Thank you. Right, we've got... Be prepared for more learning, understanding and opportunities and love. You are a living work of art. You're always becoming your true self. Okay, and last one. Specialize in your creative life trades. So prosperity comes to you. Your heart knows this. Okay, thanks for watching, lovely people. I do Cat Cards Live 2 and Pick a Pile um, on Facebook on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday usually. And I often upload uh, weekly and monthly readings for the Zodiac signs as well. Um, for personal readings, just email me at joyenergytarot at gmail.com. So thanks so much for watching and blessings to you all. Bye.